Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a quick review for you of this little guy right here. This is the uh, Civivi Brigand in the Antique Copper Scales. First off, though, I want to thank very much my buddy Chris for sending this guy along. He said, Nick, you should probably check one of these guys out, and uh, indeed... Nice little, nice little piece. So uh, there you go. Thank you very, very much, Chris, for your ongoing generosity. Next thing, let's do some size comparison real quick. Here it is against the Spydeco Delica. And so what we see here is this is a, a reasonably sized knife. Here it is against the Ontario Rat number two. Yep, pretty decently sized. Here it is against your uh, Spydeco Paramilitary too. And uh, here it is against the Civivi uh, McKenna, which is a much smaller knife but he's also in a uh, similar sort of uh, finish and whatnot, a similar ethos, I suppose, uh, coming out of uh, Civivi there. Uh, next thing, what the heck is a Civivi? Uh, Civivi is, of course, uh, the budget brand from Wee Knives. Uh, they, 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 and although, actually, now they have an even budget brand for some reason, because we needed another brand, I guess, uh, which is, I think, Sencut, uh, which is this guy here. Anyways, um, uh, Civivi is the now mid-range brand from Wee Knives um, that, that is doing uh, prices a little bit more aggressively, and, uh, you know, yeah, so uh, that is, uh, that's who Civivi is. And then finally, this is going to be a relatively quick review, because honestly, they're, they're interesting, but there's not all that crazy much there. So let's talk about what I'm liking about this guy, what I'm not liking so much. Uh, on the stuff that I'm liking here, um, ergonomically speaking, this is actually quite well done here. It fits well in the hand. No, no real complaints with that. Um, I, I like that very much. Next thing, you gotta say, you got some lefty friendliness here with a clip that can mount either direction for lefties. And by the way, the clip the screws are, uh, they're, they're countersunk under there, which I do very much appreciate. It will make this guy carry a little bit better. Um, I also appreciate very much the lanyard hole, which is pretty unobtrusive, and although it's eh, not the prettiest thing in the world, it definitely does the trick. Um, and the, the, the clip itself works pretty well, generally speaking. The tent on this guy and action generally is quite good. Can hold this guy, absolutely no wrist, and it fires out, no problem. Then on the close... Yeah, absolutely. It's good to go. Um, and so the action on this guy is solid. The blade here is actually very nice in that it has a very thin edge. This guy comes down to a deliciously thin little edge here. And the steel on this is 154 cm. Now, 154 cm is actually a steel that's been around for a good long time, right? Um, and it is a great budget steel. Um, what I mean by that is it's pretty solid, right? Um, it, it works well. Um, it holds an edge reasonably well. I am a big fan of 154 cm, and actually, I'm quite happy to see Civivi using it, and frankly, more manufacturers using that on their budget end. So, the blade on this guy is quite nice with the C. Uh, I'm sorry, the 154 cm, not CPM 154, which is the powder metallurgy version of it. Um, and also, just a nice grind coming down to a spectacularly thin edge. All of those things are, are, are very, very nice. And then finally, I gotta say, there is something nice about the, uh, the the copper here. If you are a copper fan, this is definitely gonna be interesting to you, but what they've done here is they've created a, a more antiqued finish with it. They've put on some kind of coating or another, um, that, that, that not, it does two things, and that was me smell, uh, you just heard me sniffing a knife, by the way, this is a little crazy, but it's, uh, work with me here, they put this coating on there, and this coating is good for two reasons, A, it, you know, the copper is already going to be patinaed a little bit, because copper will naturally patina over time, but also it knocks down just a little bit on some of the copper smell, one of the problems with full copper everyday carry gear is that your hands end up smelling like, you, you know, coins all day damn long, right, uh, whereas with this guy, that's a little bit less of a fact. You can definitely still smell the copper there. This is copper, 100%, but that, that, that there is something nice about that. And so I like not only the fact that they're giving the copper option, which is also, by the way, a bioactive substance. You can read papers about the effects that it has on other, uh, you know, bacteria, viruses, and whatnot. But, um, and the fact that they've done it in this coating, I think actually ends up looking pretty good. And, you know, combining it with this stone wash, I think it ends up being a pretty attractive version. So to me, at least, all of that is the good here is that the, the copper looks nice, the blade is pretty solid. The uh, finishing on it, oh, I actually didn't end up talking about the finishing, but finishing is absolutely fine. It's a Civivi, right? They're doing a pretty good job about it. Um, it, it is uh, a good deployment, nice clip, ambidextrous, ergonomic, and, uh, you know, yeah. So, uh, to me, all that's the good. On the bad side, I mean, to start, well, okay, the price on this guy is about 80 bucks. And look, 80 bucks for 154 CM may not be as interesting, but doing it with the copper scales, I'm kind of, the price on this guy feels much like this black stuff on the copper here, a little bit like a wash, right? 
get it because it's a bit of a color wash now. Anyways, um, the price is okay. 80 bucks, I can live with, but I could also be happy to see it a little bit lower. I'd like to see Civivi continuing to push the budget end a little bit more, even though apparently that's not. Anyways, so um, the, 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 the price is sort of so-so. Um, next thing on this guy, um, the, uh, and actually the real, <laughs> the big issue with this guy, um, ergonomically speaking, it's, it's fine, but the balance on it is way back here in the deck, and that's because the weight on this guy is borderline ridiculous, right? Different materials are not just aesthetic. They have a weight consequence, and in this case, the consequence is that this weighs 6.34 ounces for a total of three and a half inches of blade. That's not amazing, right? This is a heavy knife. This is a chunky little beast right here. And so, to me at least, you know, look, uh, 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 design-wise, all of the other things being equal, this thing is just a freaking boat anchor. <laughs> um, it's heavy. And this is a downside you get with any, you know, strong use of copper. But, oh boy, is this thing heavy. So, at least to me, uh, there ain't that much bad here. But that's a pretty serious business right there. That weight is definitely not great. Um, and so, to me at least, um, that, that, that to me is what's bad here is that the weight on this is absolutely nuts, and the price on this guy is eh, not super amazing. Final conclusions on this guy, um, honestly, I'm, I'm a little torn. Like, at some level, Civivi has gotten to a point where they're just making design after design, and the designs are fundamentally pretty good. Whoever their in-house designer is, is doing a pretty good job. They're, they're handling ergos. They're, they're, it's working out pretty well for them, right? And this is another one of Civivi's in-house designs. Do I feel like the Brigand itself is just like, oh my god, yes, get me a Brigand? No, not necessarily. It's, it's fine, but it's also... It, it sort of is what it is. Um, what's interesting about this guy, I think for a lot of people, and what's going to make this interesting is the fact that it combines, you know, a very solid base, a nice blade, etc. But it combines it with that copper. I think the copper thing is probably the thing that's going to make this interesting for a lot of people. And I appreciate, by the way, the fact that Civivi is willing to do that for other things, too. This is the uh, maqueta in brass, actually. Um, and, you know, so I appreciate that they're willing to try these things, that they're willing to do this kind of an aesthetic, and they're willing to do things that are, you know, a little bit different there. But in practice, um, you know, my, my recommendation on this is sort of like... Um, I don't know. Like, fundamentally, I really don't know. The, the weight is killer. The weight is a very serious, I, I mean, issue. It's sort of inherent to the thing, right? But the weight is definitely a factor, and it's something you're going to want to keep in mind as you're using this guy. But aside from that, I mean, the question is just, like, do you want the copper? Is that a thing for you? Are you looking at this metal and going, oh, yes, I want my knives to be as conductive as they are slicey? Well, in that case, boy, oh, I got a knife for you here. But for other people who are interested in just, you know, having a general pocket knife, I would recommend probably against the copper because of the balance, because of the weight, etc. And in terms of just the, the brigand itself, it's fine. It's good. It's solid. It works. But I don't know that there's a reason to go with this versus the shredder versus the other 50 bazillion, the praxis. Come here, praxis. I know you're around here someplace in my drawer of budget joy. Come here, praxis. Here we go, praxis featuring the old Civivi logo. In some ways, I find this to be a slightly more compelling design, although I can see. So I don't know. I mean, ultimately, my conclusion is this is a Civivi. It is well done. The Civivis, generally speaking, are well done. The design is fine. Is it amazing? No, but it's fine. But it's made of copper. And if you want the copper, if you want that experience, I think this is going to be interesting. But otherwise, I might suggest that you cop something else instead. Okay, anyways, there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you, that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.